We present mesh to nerf direct mesh supervision for neural radiance field representation and generation. How can we obtain a ground truth nerf from a mesh? We generate radiance fields directly from textured meshes, using an occupancy function to represent the density and a reflection function to determine the view-dependent ray color, where the defined density and color can be applied to volume rendering. Our mesh to nerf analytic solution produces accurate renderings suggesting that our theoretical derivation can be a reliable ground truth nerf representation from a mesh. Given a mesh with environment lighting, mesh to nerf aims to compute the ground truth color and density for any 3D location and viewing direction. For any point, we define the density to be infinite within the mesh surface's thickness, while the density values are zero elsewhere. For a ray intersecting the mesh surface, the color of the ray corresponds to the color of the intersection point on the mesh. This color can be determined based on a reflection function that takes into account the ray direction, the incoming light direction, and the properties of the mesh. Using our definitions of density and color, mesh to nerf can compute the ground truth color and density for any given location and viewing direction. Here we show the results of optimizing a single scene using a neural field. We compare our approach, which uses the same network architecture as Instant NGP, with a variation where we replace its multi-view supervision with our mesh to nerf ground truth radiance field supervision. Furthermore, we evaluate mesh to nerf on nerf generation tasks. During training, we jointly optimize triplane features of individual scenes, a shared nerf decoder, and a diffusion prior, leveraging our mesh to nerf supervision. At test time, we can generate nerfs conditioned on sparse view inputs. We show the results of conditional generation on ShapeNet cars and chairs, comparing them with state-of-the-art SSD nerf. We also provide nerf generation results conditioned on single view kitty car images using the model trained on ShapeNet cars. For more details, please refer to the paper. Thank you for watching.